everyone and welcome back to our course on Microsoft Teams. We're now down in section three where we're going to be discussing everything related to video and audio meetings. So at any point, if you are having a conversation in the chat window in any of your teams or team channels, you can turn that into an audio or a video meeting on the fly. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this module, what we call on-demand meetings. So those are really just meetings that you haven't scheduled in the future. They're meetings that you want to conduct straight away. So I'm currently in the general channel in the leadership team, and I've been having a conversation with Adam and with Ben, and I decided that this is going to be easier to discuss if we jump on to a video meeting. So in order to start an on-demand meeting, all I need to do is go to my conversation pane at the bottom and amongst my icons, the one in the middle, the little video camera, says meet now. So I'm going to click meet now and it's going to allow me to add a subject. So I'm going to say strategy meeting Q2. I then get a choice if I want to have this as an audio meeting or as a video meeting. And the only real difference between the two is whether you have your webcam toggled on or toggled off. So currently I have mine toggled on, which is why you guys can see me just there. But if I wanted to just have an audio meeting, maybe I'm a little bit camera shy, I can just toggle that off and it's just going to show my profile picture. Now I'm going to toggle it back on and I'm going to say meet now. So currently I'm the only one in this meeting. So what I want to do is I want to invite Adam. So I'm going to click up here. I'm going to type in Adam and I'm adding him to the call. So you can see that it's currently calling Adam and hopefully in a couple of moments he should pick up. And there he is. Hi, Adam. Hi. <laughs> I've got him on mute so that we don't get any feedback. But as you can see, fairly easy to do a video or an audio call. So while I've got Adam on here, I'm going to go through some of the in-call options that you have. So if you hover your mouse over Adam's face just here, we get this little menu bar pop up. And what you'll see, first of all, is that we have our timer ticking away. So that's showing me how many meeting, how many minutes we are into this meeting. I have my little camera icon. So if I want to turn my camera off, I can just click that and I'm going to disappear. And Adam could do the same with his camera. He could also click to turn it off and he disappears as well. Now let's turn these back on. And there we go. He's back. <laughs> And next up, we have a mute button. So if I want to mute, I can do that like so. Now, I will say always remember to check your mute button when you log into your meeting. If people are struggling to hear you, make sure that you haven't accidentally muted yourself. Happens all the time. The next button along is the share button. Now we're going to talk about sharing files, whiteboards, all that kind of stuff in a later module. So I'm going to jump over that for the time being. We have three little ellipses there. So that is where you'll find more actions. And again, there's a whole host of things underneath this menu option that we're going to go through as we go through the modules in this section. Now, one of them that I do want to point out in here, because this is a really important option to check, is this show device settings. Now, I would suggest that if you are having any issues with sound, either your sound or hearing other people, that you jump into device settings and just make sure that you have your speakers correctly selected and also your microphone as well. And if you are doing a video meeting, you want to check to make sure you have the correct camera selected. Now, most of the time, you're probably just going to have one camera. It's going to be either the uh, inbuilt webcam on your laptop or PC, or you may have an external webcam connected. So just make sure you have all the correct settings set up in there. Always a good one to check. And as I said, remember, volume needs to be turned up. Make sure that you're not on mute. Now, with any of these panels at the side, if we just click on the cross, that's going to close those down. 
And let's just jump back into more actions once more. As I said, we're gonna go through some of these as we go through this section. But one you might want to use is this full screen mode. So that's just gonna take it to full screen. So I'm getting rid of everything that's around it and I can just see Adam and any other participants that I might want to have. I'm gonna click more actions again and I'm gonna say exit full screen to go back to that smaller screen. Now, the other thing in here that I think is worth pointing out is this keypad option. So if I click on keypad, you'll see you get this little floating keypad. It looks a little bit like a calculator. Now, this can be used if you want to external dial someone. So for example, if you want to call someone on their mobile, you can use this keypad whilst you're in this meeting in order to do that. So a handy little feature there. Let's click on the cross to close that out. Now, a lot of these other options that we have in here, we're going to cover in other modules. Let's jump across to the next little icon, which is show conversation. And this will open up a little chat window at the side. And you can see there, Adam and I have had a little chat there when I couldn't quite see him on the camera. I was saying, I can't see you, Adam. And then he popped up so all is well again but this is where you can have conversations with your participants so I can just use this as I would any other chat I can say hi Adam that's going to go through to him he can reply to me and I have all of my usual options at the bottom I can format my messages I can add uh, attachments send files add emojis all of that kind of good stuff so that's also quite useful if you are, <laughs> Adam's got his sunglasses on there. It is very sunny today in the UK. Um, this is particularly useful if you are having sound issues. So if you can't hear one another for some reason, it's quite useful to be able to have that chat panel that you can open up and you can at least have a conversation and try and work out whatever issue it is that you might have with the sound. So don't forget about the useful little conversational panel. The next icon across is to show participants. So this is gonna show who is currently in the meeting. It also shows that I'm the organizer. And it's given me a suggestion of adding Ben Lee to this conversation as well. So if I did want to bring other people through, I could in fact do that. So I could type in and I can invite someone to this meeting and it will allow them to join. So you can add more participants when you're in the middle of a call as well. OK, so quite nice and easy. And let's close that down. So those are all of the options that you have sort of for in call commands um, when you're in the middle of a meeting. Now, we haven't been through some of them, but we are going to cover those in the following modules. Now, one other thing that's worth noting is that I'm conducting this call in the online version of Teams. So I'm within my browser. I'm in Microsoft 365 and I'm using Teams. Now, remember, there is also a desktop app which you can download. Now, the difference between the online version and the desktop app, to be honest, there isn't a great deal of difference. But there are a couple of additional options within the desktop app that you might be interested in using. So in the next module, I'm actually going to switch into the desktop app so I can show you some of those additional options as well. They're nothing major. There are a couple of minor little things, but it's just a way that it does slightly differ from the online browser version. But for now, you've seen how to start a new video or audio call on demand. And if you want to stop, you have a hang up button just here, which is exactly what I'm going to do in a moment. You also have underneath the three dots an end meeting button. So the difference between hanging up and ending the meeting is that if I click hang up, Adam's still on the call. He's there on his own, just hanging out on his own, wondering where I've gone. But I've hung up and I've disappeared. I've gone to get lunch. I've forgotten Adam's there, basically. But if I just want to end the meeting, so it's going to end for all of the participants, I would choose end meeting as opposed to just hanging up. It might be that if you are a participant and maybe you finished discussing whatever you need to discuss and you want to leave the meeting, but the meeting's still going to continue, that would be when you're more likely to use the hang up option. 
But for now, I'm going to end this call and we're probably going to call Adam back a little bit later on in the next module. So that's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. Say bye, Adam. Bye. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.